running very high in the war between Russia and Ukraine. People are upset, in shock, and disbelief. But one thing that isn't helping at all is the unbelievable amount of fake images and videos being spread, not only on social media, but also by legitimate news outlets. I even made the mistake myself here on Rising on Friday when I stated I was impressed with Zelensky getting into full military gear to fight on the front lines. Turns out that was an image from last April. I fell for it. I apologize. Unfortunately, I'm not alone in falling for it. Bild, a political news outlet in Germany, shared a video of what looked to be a horrific bombing by the Russians in Kiev during one of their broadcasts. But it turns out the footage was from a 2015 chemical explosion in Tianjin, China. Newsmax used a photo of a crying older woman standing in front of her devastated home with the caption, the current devastation in Ukraine. But the photo was from 2015. An Italian news broadcast used footage from the video game War Thunder when talking about the war in Ukraine. No doubt viewers seeing a rain of missiles were horrified. So I want to go through some of the most egregious examples of the fake news circulating around. But I have to preface this because we are in a Western nation that is supportive of Ukraine in this conflict. The vast majority of the fake news that we see circulating is anti-Russian. So I'll be debunking a lot of this type of information. However, I have no doubt similar fake news is circulating in Russia and in pro-Russian countries, showing fake news that is disparaging of Ukrainians. We're just not seeing much of it, so I can't debunk it. So keep this in mind before you lash out at me and call me a pro-Putin Russian asset at the end of this segment. So let's start with what I think is the most astonishing example of fake news circulating. It was being reported that 13 heroic soldiers on Snake Island were confronted by a, a Russian warship. The audio recording shows the Russians telling the Ukrainians to lay down their arms to avoid bloodshed and unjustified deaths. The Ukrainians are infamously heard saying, Russian warship, go F yourself. It was then reported they fought valiantly until they were all killed by the Russians. President Zelensky even announced he would posthumously award the men medals of valor. Well, it turns out whomever claimed they had died was mistaken. Instead, the Ukrainian border guard disputed whether anyone was killed. And shortly after, video footage emerged of the Russians giving food and water to the 82 men, not 13, from Snake Island, who were then being transferred to Crimea. Some of the soldiers have now given interviews saying if the Russians wanted to bury them, they would have. And now they instead will go home to their families. Another shocking video was of a tank swerving in the street and running over a civilian car. Totally shocking video, jaw-dropping. But thank goodness the person actually survived this crushing experience. Media was reporting this as a Russian tank and using it to show the callousness of the Russians and their invasion. But it turns out this was actually a Ukrainian tank that had lost control and accidentally ran over that vehicle. And I'm sure everyone involved was relieved that person was okay. Russian tanks are marked with white Zs, by the way, for future reference when you're looking at any video. Now, many of you saw the heart-wrenching video of the father saying a very tearful goodbye to his wife and daughter as he goes off to battle. This was being reported as a Ukrainian man sending his family to safety while he fights against the Russians. Well, the man is Ukrainian, sort of, I suppose. He's one of the rebels in the Donetsk People's Republic. He was sending his family to Russia for safety while he stayed behind to fight Ukrainian forces. The original video was posted by the mayor of his town several days before the Russians invaded Ukraine. And of course, I can't leave out the ghost of Kiev. There's footage of a fighter pilot downing several Russian jets. The video, of course, went viral with millions of views. The claims are this pilot took down six Russian jets in one day. But now, by the way, that number's jumped up to 10 Russian jets being taken down. Now, a fighter pilot who takes down five planes throughout the course of their entire career is called an ace. So to have six in one day or even 10 in one week is incredible. It's actually unbelievable, in fact. And it turns out the footage is from a video game called Digital Combat Simulator. But even with this video being debunked, the former Ukrainian president, Poroshenko, is tweeting that it's real and even shared a masked photo of the pilot. Uh, and, and there's a lot of wild claims going around of who the pilot is. The pilots, there's a lot of of, uh, talk that maybe the pilot's even a, wo a woman. And of course, it turns out that that old photo, that photo there is actually an old photo that's recirculated. So it's still unlikely the ghost of Kiev is real. But a lot of people fell for it and you can't blame them for wanting to boost up morale, I suppose. Now, the list of this fake news or fake videos and images just is endless on social media, totally endless. I could not possibly list all of them. Um, but one thing I do want to mention is that, you know, the reason why this is so dangerous to have all this this fake video and, and uh, circulating around and people believing it is that it is heart wrenching to watch. So when people see a Russian tank running over a civilian car, you know, what they think is a Russian tank running over a civilian car, or they see, um, you know, just these really, really heart-wrenching and, and, and or even callous videos, it raises up emotions to a level where that is uh, maybe too much, right? And this person thinks, oh, now I'm, I'm going to, I've got to fight. Things are worse than they actually maybe are. Uh, and, and it causes people to get highly emotional and it can flame, inflame a situation to be much, much worse. So, uh, Robbie and Ryan, I'm sure you guys have seen many of the fake different videos that have been circulating online. Um, and it's tough to even know what is true and what isn't true. You know, I'm sitting there for hours, like, researching just to make sure. And there was one, by, uh, and it said that this particular journalist was killed in, uh, you know, the first American to die in Ukraine. And then there was another image that was shown side by side on social saying, but CNN had also claimed that this person had died in Afghanistan. That actually, that was fake. It was from a fake account, a fake CNN account, making it look like they had said that this journalist had died in Afghanistan and in uh, the U.S. CNN never made, I mean, and in Ukraine, CNN never made that claim. So 